Today I'm going to show you how to install the Diamondback SE tonneau cover on this 2017 Ford F-250. Let's go ahead and get started. First thing that we're going to do is install our bulkhead seal. Now when we put this on, we want to make sure it is to the side closest to the inside of the bed. It's just going to go all the way along the bulkhead, all the way to the other bed rail. Now before we peel off our tape on the back and put that on, we're going to use some rubbing alcohol and a paper towel. And we're going to go ahead and just clean that surface really well and let that dry for a minute or so. And then we can install our bulkhead seal. So once that's dry, I'm going to take one side of my seal, peel a little bit of the backing off of it, and I'm going to start at one bed cap. And I'm just going to peel a little bit away at a time and stick it into place. And then we're going to go along the whole bulkhead and do it just like that. Now once you get to the end, you're going to have a little bit of excess, so you can just use a pair of scissors or a knife and just cut that off. And then you just want to go along the whole seal and just give it a little push to make sure it's on there nice and tight. Next, we're going to grab our center panel. That's going to be the smallest of our three panels. And if we lift it over to the underside, we can see that it's actually labeled center panel. And it's going to tell us which side needs to be facing the tailgate. So this bottom piece, when we set it on top of our bed rails, needs to be facing towards the tailgate. And we're going to go ahead and do that right now. We're going to take our center panel, and we're just going to set it on top of our bed rails. Again, making sure that we have the correct side facing the tailgate. We're going to kind of stick it right in the middle. Um, we're going to cheat it slightly towards the tailgate, and then we're going to try to center it from side to side on our bed rails. So now we're on the underside of our center panel, and we have our provided clamps. And right under the panel, you're going to see that there is a um, piece that sits right on top of the bed cap and what we're going to do is use our clamps to clamp the underside to our bed rail. So we're going to unthread the bolt as much as possible and we're actually going to turn the top of the clamp to the side. The bottom portion here is going to hook underneath our bed rail and then we're going to push the bolt up and then turn the top portion over top of the center panel and then we're just going to hand thread our bolt back in place. And we're going to put one clamp closest to the tailgate side and then we're going to put our next clamp closest to our bulkhead side. I'm just going to thread that in by hand, leave it hand tight. And then we're going to take our next clamp, do the same thing. Going to unthread it. Turn it. Push it up into place. Turn the top portion over so that it's over the top of our center panel. And hand tighten our bolt. Just going to leave those hand tight for now. We're going to repeat that on the opposite side. Next, we're going to take our cab side panel. It's going to be labeled underneath as cab side, and we're going to put it on our hinges on our center panel. Now, this is our passenger hinge on our center panel. Now, you can see that this one is just a pin, so when we put our cab side panel on, it's going to have to slide over the top of this pin. Now, on our driver side hinge point on our center panel is not going to have an opening our cab vert is just going to fit over the top of this bar here. Now with some help, we're going to grab our cab side panel. It's also going to be labeled cab side on the underside of it, and we're going to connect our hinges. Just 
just like that. Now with our hinges connected, I'm just going to carefully lower this down. You're going to want somebody on the other side to catch it. And then you're just going to let that sit for right now. Now our hinge points on our tailgate side of our center panel are going to be reversed of that that we just had, but it's going to install the same way for our tailgate panel. We're just going to lift that up. And on this side, on our driver's side, we're going to slide our hinge piece in. And once everything's in, we're just going to gently let that down. Next, we're going to align our tonneau cover. Now, it needs to be evenly spaced from side to side. And the cab side panel needs to be in line with the closest portion of the bulkhead um, bend as possible. So the very center of your bulkhead should be the furthest point that the bulkhead is from the window. So that line needs to line up exactly with the cab side panel line. So we're just going to keep pushing it back. That's good. Okay. And then again, we're going to align it side to side. It should also line up with the curves at the back of the truck towards the tailgate. So you can see these curves line up perfectly and that's what we want on both sides. Now with our cover aligned, we can go back underneath and tighten down our clamps. That's going to be a 9 16 We're going to repeat that on the opposite side. So now we are looking at our passenger side lock rod on our tailgate panel. And we want to look to see where, when this is in a locked position, where it's going to line up along our bed rail. So that looks to be right about here. So now we can go ahead and lift that panel up out of our way. And what we need to do is take our um, plastic edge trim piece. And that's got a little piece of 3M on it. And that's actually going to attach to the metal side of our bed rail. And it's actually going to go in between our bed cap and our rail itself, just like that. So we're going to take some rubbing alcohol. We're going to clean that surface real good. We're going to let it dry. We're going to go ahead and peel the backing off of our edge trim. like that. And then we're going to use a screwdriver to just put a little bit of a gap in between our rail and our bed cap. And we're going to push our edge trim into place right there. And then push on it real good to make sure it sticks really well. Now once we've done that, we can lay our panel back down. And then we're going to turn our locking mechanism so that our lock rails go forward. Now with this in a fully locked position, we want to make sure that the end of our rod does not hit our sidewall. If it does, we're going to have to use our provided Allen key and adjust that rod. But ours does not hit, so we don't need to adjust it any. So next what we're going to do is we're going to have a friend lightly press down on the top of our cover and then we're going to use a 7 16 to tighten up our nuts here. But we're first going to push this up so that when this locks into place our rod has to go beneath our bed cap and that's going to help it to keep everything tight and sealed against the elements. So with that pushed up, we're going to use our 7 16 We're going to tighten down our locking nuts. 
Now you might have to push on the back of the bolt to make sure that it doesn't rotate. And then we're just going to go ahead and tighten those down. Now we're going to repeat that on all the locations where our locking rods come into contact with our bed rail. Now if you do need to adjust your locking rods, you're going to go to the center of your tailgate panel and then you're going to see two Allen key um, bolts. You can just loosen those up and that will allow you to slide this rod back and forth. Once you have it in the position that you want it, you Go ahead and lock it down like that, adjust it where you would like it, and then you can tighten that screw back up. Next we're going to attach our gas springs to our tailgate panel and center panel. It's going to fit right over the ball joints here and here, and we're going to attach it with our cylinder facing up. You can also see on it that it says mount this side up. And it's just going to push on just like that and you can attach the bottom part just pushes on as well and then you're going to do that on both sides now the gas spring on your passenger side of your cab panel is going to install exactly the same way as they did on the tailgate panel but on our driver side we're actually going to have a safety latch that has to get pushed on to our our ball joint first and then we can install our gas spring exactly the same way Alright, that completes the installation. If you have any questions, give us a call or visit us online.